Hello Rebels and welcome back to my life. So today is Writer Wednesday, the day that I talk about tips and tricks for authors, and today I want to talk not about writing itself, but one of the biggest parts of the self-publishing process, building your author platform. The author platform is a very hot buzzword in self-publishing. Everybody knows that you need one. Lots of people want to give you advice on how to build one. Some of the advice is bad, but some of it is very good. But a lot of people misunderstand what a platform is, even platform building experts. And what's funny is that I've seen some of these people give advice that's good advice, that works, but like almost on accident, because they found a technique that works works to build a platform, but they misunderstand their own platform, so they miss out on giving even better advice. To understand what an author platform is, you just have to look at the definition of the word. A platform is an elevated surface from which you can speak and where people will actually listen to you. And that is all an author platform is. This is another one of those things that seems too simple to be useful, but it isn't. And a lot of people can forget that that's all a platform is. And let me explain how. Common advice in platform building is that every author needs an email list. And that is true. Every author does need an email list that is a type of platform and one of the most effective ones from which you can speak. People say they want to hear from you, they give you their email address, you send them a friendly letter once a week or once a month telling them what's going on, and when you have a new book out, you email them about that. And the statistics on email lists are unavoidable. They are one of the most effective ways, if not the most effective way, to communicate with people, but they are only one type of platform, and they might not even be the one that works best for you. Take me, for example. YouTube is actually my primary platform. I get more responses and interaction from you you guys than I do even on my email list, not because my email list is bad, but because you guys are freaking awesome. I get to talk to you in a more personal way. We get to see each other every day and have dialogue in the comments. But YouTube suits me because of my delivery style and because I already have a leg up by knowing something about video production, which like a lot of authors don't. So from this we can learn that different authors will succeed on different types of platform depending on what style of communication suits you best. Some platform experts like to say that social media is a useless platform, but that might not be true for you. Your style of communication might be better suited to a social media platform than anything else. Ksenia Ansk is a perfect example. Ksenia is an indie author who I've interviewed on this channel before, and she's the queen of Twitter. She's amazing. I've never seen an author use Twitter as well as she does. That's because her communication style and her audience thrive on Twitter. And I don't know if she has an email list, but even if she did, weekly emails could not possibly capture the energy and vitality she brings to her Twitter. Where, by the way, she has 50,000 followers who are rabid about her, communicate with her all the time, and swarm a book when she tweets about it. Now, it's true that on social media you're using someone else's website, and it's true that they can change the rules on you, and it's true that that can weaken your platform. For example, right now, Facebook is probably the worst website on the world in which you could build a platform, because they've changed everything so that even if your fans say they want to hear from you on Facebook, there's only a 15% chance that they will. However, if you have built up your platform and built an engaged audience around it, you can very easily direct them to the auditorium next door. An internet select Celebrities do this all the time with great success, from Viners telling their followers to go follow them on Snapchat, to YouTubers who move their videos to hosting on their own website. It can totally be done. The point is this, find out what works for you. If you are a terrible blogger, don't try to build a platform around your blog. If you are good at witty one-liners, do Twitter. If you can do video, do YouTube. And if you're an erotica author, you better be on Tumblr, because they're one of the few social media sites that's like totally okay with that. Which like, just for the record, that's not why Tumblr is my favorite social media site. A platform is only a place upon which you can stand and from which you can communicate to your audience, so find what method of communication works best for you and build your platform around that. That is today's advice, Rebels. A special shout out to my Patreon patrons who make all of my YouTube endeavors possible. You guys are awesome. Check the link in the description if you want to become one of those awesome people. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Maybe. Bye!